Wagwan YouTube Fickle here, welcome to today's Destiny video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the This Week at Bungie blog for the 22nd of June 2017. In today's video, we've got a lot of interesting topics to talk about, one of which are some of the rewards veteran players can expect to see on day one of Destiny 2 for staying loyal to the franchise. A very exciting video indeed, which means if you do enjoy, make sure you slap that like button down below. And of course, if you want more Destiny content like this from me, be sure to subscribe. But anyway, let's jump in. So the article straight away starts with Bungie addressing how they're going to be rewarding veteran players at the start of Destiny 2. The article says, we are going to honour our veteran players who join us again in Destiny 2. Today, we're going to shine a little light on what you can expect if you count yourself among those ranks. The article then reveals a bunch of new emblems, and I'll have them on screen now. So it looks like we're being awarded emblems similar to what happened in Destiny 1, and they all require you to have completed a certain challenge. But what's interesting in terms of changes to emblems in Destiny 2 is how the emblems now feature quite prominently at the top of the character screen, and that's a really good addition there. Now, bear in mind everyone that the achievements will freeze on the 1st of August, so make sure you fulfilled the unlock requirements before the 1st to get these emblems in Destiny 2. What I mean by this is, for example, one of the achievements is to get level 7 in a record book. If you haven't done that before August 1st, then it won't carry over into Destiny 2. If you do it on August 2nd, it still won't carry over into Destiny 2, so make sure you get it done before the 1st. In my humble opinion, these emblems are a really cool reward for veteran players. I know I'll be rocking a few of them on day one. I really like how your emblem is shown at the top of the character screen too. That is a really cool personalization addition. What I really love about these emblems is the fact they're kind of a nod to some of the emblems we achieved in Destiny 1 as well. I just really like that, Bungie. Deej then moves on to address what's happening to Destiny 1 as we move into Destiny 2. Probably the biggest announcement is the fact August 1st will be the last ever Iron Banner in Destiny 1. It's kinda sad, I'll make sure I jump onto Iron Banner to give it one last goodbye. And then the last ever Trials of Osiris is also happening in August, but it's gonna be on the 11th. So if you're yet to go flawless in year 3 or at all in Destiny 1, you've only got a few more attempts, so it is pretty sad there. But don't worry, Trials and Iron Banner will be returning in Destiny 2, and the words of Deej in unexpected ways. I really can't wait to see how Bungie have changed these events, hopefully they've made a lot of improvements. If you're planning on staying with Destiny 1, then you'll still have Zer to look forward to every weekend, and if you're on Xbox, then you'll finally be getting the Taken King and Rise of Iron exclusives this October. The article then moves on to the What's Up Doc section, and it addresses a few things which I'm not going to go over here, but if you want to have a read of this article, I will have it linked down below, but the most important thing in the What's Up Doc section is the fact there will be server maintenance in preparation for the Destiny 2 beta on the 27th of June. It starts at 7am Pacific time, and they expect it to end around 4pm Pacific time. So don't be worried if you can't get online for the majority of Tuesday, the servers will be back up eventually. But of course, a weekly update video wouldn't be complete without the Bungie Bounty. The Bungie Bounty this week is Grenada Jake, the region is California in the US, on the 26th of June at 5pm Pacific Time. The console will be Xbox One, and the playlist will be Control. Remember, if you take part in the Bungie Bounty, you have a chance at grabbing that elusive sign of opposing will emblem, and you'll have a great time doing so. The article then closes out by saying, with all these future moments to report, we also need to take a moment to thank the Destiny community for another amazing E3. Thank you as always for your passion and your urgency to tackle new challenges. You never fail to remind us why we create these experiences. So that's really nice of Deej once again, it's just expressing how much Bungie love this community and how really end of the day we do make this game. The article then moves on to say, sorry if we didn't have a chance to meet you all at E3. If you didn't find your moment to play, we hope we'll see you in the beta, now only three short weeks away. Oh shit, I didn't realise the beta was actually that close, that gets me really excited. But don't forget, on the 21st of July at 6pm GMT or 11am Pacific Time or whatever equivalent, I'm going to be streaming the beta right here on my YouTube channel and you're all welcome to join me. Make sure you stay tuned to my Twitter for more details, I'll have it linked down below and then hopefully I'll see you there. So this week's video has had a hell of a lot of content so I don't think we have time to cover any smaller news topics or a community highlight unfortunately, 
but I will be migrating those aspects into my social media soon anyway with the launch of Destiny 2. If you'd like to find out more about that then make sure you check out my recent channel update video, I'll have that link down below, I do recommend you watch that if you're looking to see what happens to the future of this channel. Like I said there was a lot to cover and I might not have got it all in this video so I do recommend you give this article a read, as I said I'll have it linked down in the description, but it is sad to see the end of Destiny 1 but also really exciting to finally be moving on to Destiny 2, I can't wait to sink some hours into the game, I have huge confidence in Bungie this time round. But what I really want to know is, what do you guys think, what are you most excited about in terms of Destiny 2, tell me in the comment section down below, I love to hear your thoughts and I do love to hear your feedback. But on that note guys, that about wraps up today's video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did don't forget to slap that like button down below and of course, if you want more regular Destiny content like this from me, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to stay up to date with the real world me, and also be notified on my uploads, then hit the bell next to subscribe, and also follow my Twitter, Instagram, and Google+, they're all linked down below. But in the meantime, I have been Fickle the Man, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!